My name is Steve Dorrit, so I'm the animation producer at Jellyfish. My role is just to, is to make sure that it all runs and it all runs to time. Everybody's happy, basically, as well, from the client uh, to all the staff as well. So, so uh, if people aren't happy, they don't produce good work. And so you have to make sure that people are happy in what they do. A lot of my job is the troubleshooting. So for example, we have a particular shot or a particular show which has got a few problems, it's working out who's best to tackle that problem, what's going to be the quickest solution, what's going to be the best solution. Uh, sometimes realising that the best solution isn't the quickest solution as well. I think in my role you need to be someone who, who takes pleasure in seeing people develop. I think it's important that you allow people to flourish basically because at the end of the day you, you need them in their role to be doing the best they can so overall they can produce the best work. Uh, if you haven't got the attitude uh, to work with people well and realise that you're part of a team and you're not, you're not an island, you're not that one person that, that does everything, you're not that control freak that won't uh, delegate stuff out as well when you, when you need to, you're also not that person who who will sit there quietly suffering. Uh, you're that person who'll put your hand up and say, I don't understand this, I need a bit of help. Uh, and you're also that person that will, will organise yourself fairly well with, and you also take that bit of pride in what you produce and, and realise you're part of a chain. I think sometimes in, in the VFX and animation industry you can be just that small cog and you pass something on, especially if you're a small freelance job, you then pass something on to someone else who you'll never meet again. Uh, and and you never know whether you've done whether they, what they pick up. They go, oh my god, this is a mess, or they go, oh my god, this is just brilliantly organised. Thank you. So so you, you, you do need to have that attitude of, of, uh, of believing you've done a good job and you you you've, you've passed it on to those person very well. Uh, I think a lot of people think it's just about I can you know I know Nuke very well or I know Maya very well. You might know it very well, but you don't just want a technical bot that can just do it. You need someone with an eye, so uh, so you don't have to tell them point every little thing out to them. At the end of the day, it's just a tool. It's just a tool for making it happen. So it's just if you're going to if you're going to draw a drawing, it's whether you decide to use charcoal or a pencil. And ultimately, you, you kind of be able need to transfer your skills from one tool to the next, and not get hung up on the fact that. Uh, Maya, for example, might be replaced with something else in two years' time. I should really be quite relaxed and quite quiet because everything should just be running nice and smoothly and everyone's doing their task, but every now and again you just have to pick, pick things up and, and jump in to, to keep the, the, the wheels greased. Uh, quite well. Or the cogs greased, you don't grease wheels. <laughs> that would be dangerous. <laughs>